Hands in the air. Hit him. Hit him. A volley of small beanbag and rubber rounds taking down a man a few minutes after this short police chase. Our original reason for a stop was speeding 20 over. A few blocks away, the vehicle finally came to a stop. Police department, hands out the window! Hands out the window! After first refusing those commands, the driver, 30-year-old Jeremy Burnt, questioned the arrest. You're under arrest for eluding. Me. When he finally gets out of the car, he starts to dance. With your left hand, grab the front of your shirt by your chest. Lift your shirt up so I can see your waistband. A minute later, he's still not following orders, and police take Jeremy, action. The, put your hands in the air, Jeremy. Jeremy, hands in the air. Hit him. Hit him. Less than the floor. Earlier this year, Waukesha police explained for us their use of the less lethal rounds in a similar unrelated case. We want to do our job minimizing any risk of injury to anyone involved. But Burnt didn't seem to be a fan. You guys have to have 20 people for a speeding ticket? I'm sorry you had to end this way. We're not compliant. So, Nick, how often does Waukesha use those rounds? Uh, police say they use them about uh, 20 to 30 times a year. They say it's a good tool to use when they're too far away to use a taser, but deadly force isn't required at that point. Meanwhile, uh, he is charged now with felony fleeing an officer. Okay, Nick Bohr joining us live in Waukesha. Thank you.